break is winding down with summer vacation on its heels. Many people are making travel plans. Will yours include your pet? Are you flying with Fido? Mm -mm -mm. Chief's transportation correspondent and pilot May Kay Beeler joins us. And May Kay, apparently your first priority needs to be making sure your four-legged friend is safe, secure, and comfortable. Yeah, and there's a lot to consider here. Mm. All right, so flying with your pet is no walk in the park. Um, it can be stressful, and there are a lot of restrictions. It's not cheap, but for pet parents who just can't do without their fur babies, here's what you need to consider. Very important, will your dog be flying in the cabin with you or in cargo? Is your pet vaccinated? Are they fit to fly? Do they have a health certificate from your vet? All are required. Very important, always check in with your airline before getting to the airport because some airlines only allow the pet to fly in cargo. Airlines that permit pets in the cabin may have limits on how many are allowed. So you must reserve your pet spot to ensure the cabin is not over the animal limit the day you fly. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Now, some airlines allow you to note that you are flying with the dog when you are booking your ticket online, but others require a phone call to claim your spot. I think I would do that. There are also restrictions on the breed and size as well as pet fees, and those vary with different airlines, typically between $100 and $250 per pet one way. Um, what about emotional support? animals. So not to be confused with a certified service animal. Mm. Emotional support, you know, it can be a rooster, it can be your <laughs> hamster, you know, whatever. Um, you have to pay for them. You have to pay for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, are certain airlines better like restaurants are, some more pet friendly than others? How does that work, Make it? Yeah. So there was a survey that was done and the four most pet friendly, mm -hmm. Alaska, Southwest, Frontier, American Airlines came in fourth out of nine. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, they vary. So Alaska has a pet policy where you can bring up to two pet carriers in the cabin, but you got to pay a seat for the second one. Cha-ching, hmm. cha-ching. Okay. Now, in addition to cats and dogs flying in the cabin, Alaska allows rabbits oh. and household birds. Cargo will cater to the larger animals like a pot-bellied pig. And they take reptiles, <laughs> ferrets, and more. Hot. Frontier accepts, in addition to cats uh -huh. and dogs, rabbits, and birds, yeah. guinea pigs and hamsters in the cabin. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. My, my dog is perfectly fine at home. <laughs> Sorry. As a pilot, Mickey, how do you feel about <laughs> guinea pigs and hamsters uh, in a plane? Well, ferrets smell. <laughs> Just saying, folks. Oh, goodness. So, as a pilot, uh -huh. you know, flying a private jet yeah. where we have six passengers, they, they can bring their pets. We don't ever put them in cargo. Yeah. Um, and, and they can be in their little carrier. Now, on the airlines, they have to fit in a carrier under your seat. Mm -hmm. Fit yeah. in the carrier under your seat. Um, make sure you take them to the restroom before you get on board. Have like a pee pad in the carrier. Uh, take a chew for them because, you yes. know, their ears with the yeah. pressure. Their ears can bother them. Take a chew. Um, lots to consider. Call the airline. Mm -hmm. Plan ahead. I'm thankful and, for our pet sitters. That's it. Just after hearing you and, say And all cargo this. is a different beast. That's, mm -hmm. it has to be obviously pressurized and the temperature is regulated. But depending on how hot or cold it is outside, yeah. mm -hmm. they may not accept your pet because yeah. the animals have to they're sit outside to yeah. before they're boarded. Yeah. That's oh, found out you can put right. a rabbit in the, with you in the cabin and also a pot belly pig in cargo. The more you know, Anne. All right, right? thank you, May Kay. <laughs>